are in or near Winterset, Iowa. Behind us is a covered bridge. If you're a fan of the movie The Bridges of Madison County, this would be one of those bridges. These are historic bridges. There used to be eight of them. Two of them were burnt down um, in a vandalism issue that they had and so there are six remaining. We're not going to go see all six of them. This one is on Hogback Road, Hogback Bridge Road, just north, a little northwest of Winterset. These bridges are now on the uh, National Register of Historic Places, so don't vandalize them. They will come with a hefty fine. So we're going to go check out this cool bridge. info if you want to read that. Obviously people didn't get the Memo on no vandalism. Looks like some kind of a uh <laughs> like a guest book type thing, I guess. Or it could be a geocache thing, too. I don't know. A lot of butterflies around here. in there so if anybody wants to pause and read we are outside of the birthplace museum of john wayne in winterset iowa we weren't gonna do the museum. We've got Darby with us. It's already getting hot today, so we can't we can't go inside and spend time in there. We were looking for the house, but we don't see it. According to directions, it's supposed to be on the corner of John Wayne Drive and Washington. 
there is no house. The only thing I see is the museum. So, that's a little disappointing because I don't know where it's at. We found it. The house is on the corner of East South Street and South 2nd Street, which is diagonal on the same block, but diagonal from the back side of the museum. It's a cute little house. Well, we weren't intentionally looking for this, but here's another one of the covered bridges. It is actually in the Winterset City Park. And we're going through the park to get to another location. So I thought I'd film that real quick. A cute little cabin in this park. It says it was built in 1852 by pioneer Andrew Bennett. And then it was rebuilt in 1917 and restored in 1972. It's cute. We accidentally, sort of, yeah, accidentally, ran across another one of the covered bridges. We had only intended to hit one of these, and now we've hit three. So the last destination that we were supposed to go to, we couldn't do, which was the Clark Tower Castle that is, you have to access through the city park, which we were fine going into the city park, but the road to the castle stated on no longer than a uh, 20 minute, or, stated no longer than a 20 foot long vehicle well obviously we're pulling the camper shoot the truck's almost 20 foot so we figured we better just skip that So we've seen three of the six. I don't think we'll probably run across any more of them on the way out. I don't know. I didn't know we would run across this one. Well, I was wrong again. We've run across another one. This one's right off of the main road. So it was super easy to get to. This is the Imes Bridge. It's a little bit different. I'm not, I guess, are those for fire extinguishing? Maybe? But it's also painted inside. like this one's right at the edge of a uh, city park or something. It's just a teensy smidge outside of St. Charles, Iowa.
missed any of those videos in this series, you might want to go back and check those out. We had a great time. All of that was done in a week. It is uh, Friday now. We left last Friday and we managed to do all that in a week. I think we, well, we hit everything that we wanted to hit plus extra because we also went to Pella and that was not on our list of things to do. Don't leave the channel because of course we're going to have more adventures coming up at some point. This was a long series of videos. This was our kind of our long summer trip. We had a good time but we're ready for the next adventure already and we're not even back home yet.